See the arrangement of flower on the floral axis. So many different types of arrangement of flowers is possible. Different forms of arrangement of the flowers. Fine. You know this arrangement of flowers on the floral axis is termed as inflorescence. The arrangement of flowers in the floral axis is termed as inflorescence. See how many different types. Let us talk about some of the important types. Okay. So first I'm talking about the racemose inflorescence. The racemose inflorescence here, the growth of the floral axis is indefinite. Please note this word. Here, the floral axis, it keeps on growing. And the important characteristic features, they are arranged in acropetal order. We have studied about acropetal arrangement, right? That means the older flowers will be at the base, bottom, and the younger flowers, new flowers will come up at the tip, apex. That's a acropetal order. And important characteristic feature, floral axis is growing indefinitely. Got it? Okay. So here, important example is Gulmohar. Gulmohar is one of the example. So here, older flowers are at the base and younger flowers at the top. Now, certain types, simple raceme. Floral axis is unbranched. Floral axis is unbranched and produces many pedicillate flowers. Crotal area. Crotal area, okay, is an example. Here you can see, the floral axis, it's unbranched. It's a single, single structure and produces many pedicillate flowers. These all that you're seeing, yellow, yellow, these are all flowers. Pedicillate flowers, they have the pedicel. Fine. Now, these are simple racemes. Now, corim, this is another time of racemos inflorescence, racemos inflorescence. Flowers have stalks of varying length. Let me show you. These are all individual, individual flowers and they have different lengths of the stalks so that it can come all come to a same level or ma maximum it forms a convex structure like this. Candy tuft. All flowers are generally at the same height or mostly forms a convex structure. Okay, you got Corimp is this structure. Umbel. This is where the peduncle is condensed and bears cluster. It's a cluster of pedicellate flowers at the apex. Simple example is onion. You see this image, it's all simple flowers and it's a cluster of flowers. Got? Understood about the inflorescence? Now, now the next type, let's talk about the next type. Yes, it's called the head or the capitulum. Capitulum, peduncle gets condensed into flattened disc called the receptacle. Peduncle, it, the peduncle, it gets condensed you see, this has become condensed. It becomes a flattened disc shaped structure. It's called the receptacle. Many sessile flowers are closely arranged on the receptacle. See here, many flowers are there actually. So these are many flowers and here the peduncle gets condensed. It becomes a flattened disc shaped structure. Got it, understood? Example is sunflower. Now we are going to talk about the next type of inflorescence after racemose inflorescence. It's called the cymose inflorescence. So here, important difference from the racemose is growth of the floral axis is definite and terminates into a flower. Growth of the floral axis is definite, not indefinite, unlike the racemose inflorescence. It's definite and terminates where by a formation of formation of a flower. So flowers are arranged in a basipetal order. Now, how is it different from the acropetal order? This is the difference. The older flower are at the tip and the younger flower are at the base. So older flower at the tip, base petal. So younger flower at the base. Fine? Okay, these are the examples. Let's talk about some types of the cymose inflorescence. Solid cyme. Here, terminal, you see, datura. Here the terminal flower has formed. But at times, auxiliary, example, hibiscus, you see here, here, a single flower is produced, it can be auxiliary in case of hibiscus or terminal in position in case of datura. Got it? This is called solitary sign. Solitary sign. Now, it can be this. Monochasial sign. That means here, monochasial sign. Mono. Peduncle terminates into a flower. That's fine. 
It terminates by formation of a flower. But each time, only one lateral branch will form, which will also terminate into a flower. Let's see. Here, you see, it has terminated and one lateral branch will form. And it will also terminate its growth by formation of a flower. Interesting, right? You see. Find mono chasel. Now there is something called the dye chasel. How, how is, is it different from the mono chasel? Peduncle terminates into a flower. Okay, that's fine. But here two lateral branches will be produced which will also terminate by a flower. Yes, jasmine is another example. You see, this is the old flower. These are the young flowers. Terminal branches, okay. And they will also terminate, sorry, lateral branches, lateral branches. And they will also terminate by the formation of a flower. Got the difference? Here it was a single branch one lateral branch and it again terminates its growth by formation of flower. Here are two lateral branches and it terminates by the formation of flowers. Got it? Okay. So these were what we discussed. Simple, cor corimb, humble and head. Simos we have talked about solitary, dichasal, monochasal. Now some special types of inflorescence. Sathium. Sathium the entire inflorescence looks like a single flower. Yes. Entire inflorescence looks like a single flower. Look here. You know what? Single male flower and single female flower. Let me correct it. Single female flower and many male flowers are there. Male flowers. So all these are the male flowers. But together it looks like one single flower. So the entire inflorescence here looks like a single flower. Sathium. Let me talk about next one, Hypanthodium. Hypanthodium found in ficus. See here. Okay, the inflorescence axis condensed and forms a fleshy cup-like structure with apical opening. Can you see the opening over here? The apical opening. And small sessile and unisexual flowers are present inside the cup. See here, male flower. Fertile female flower is the gall flower. You know what is a gall flower? Gall flower is basically a short style flower. It has a short style and later, you know, they become the mass of pulpy, uh, pulpy structure, pulpy tissue of the plant. Fine. So they turns pulpy. Example is figure. So here, what happens? The inflorescence axis is condensed and forms a fleshy cup like structure. This has become fleshy. It's a C, it's a cup-like structure. It has a apical, apical opening. Small, sessile, unisexual flowers are present. 